All right. Welcome back to Jablam Sports presentation of the NBA 2020 playoff simulation. That's right. We're simulating every single game for the NBA playoffs based upon the stoppage of the season. We hope you enjoy this. You can go to our website, get all your stats, series, and information at jablamsports.com. And all your updates are on our Twitter, Jablam Sports. You can watch it live on our Twitch and our website. All right. Let's get to game four, Houston, Denver. This series, of course, is 2-1 for Houston. So they could take a 3-1 series lead or the Nuggets can tie it up here in game four coming up shortly. Remember, check, we're all over social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and of course on our Twitter. You can get constant updates there. And we have a last game tonight. OKC versus Utah. That could be the end of a series. So enjoy the game, folks. Game four. We'll see if they can steady themselves and get it done. Incredible opportunity for him, Shaq. Chance to go up 3-1. Few people predicted this. This is why you play the game. Ernie, Kenny knows this. He has two rings. I have four. All three of us, we have six rings. This is a anything can happen to you. They play with that underdog intensity. You know, we got a guy that worked for us. Underdog. 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 Plays plays with he plays with intensity. No, I'm not talking about that kind of underdog intensity. I'm talking about that get in your face intensity. Don't change the thing, guys. Well, uh, let's go out to Kevin Harlan. They're getting ready for the opening kick. And that shot should leave no doubt as to where we are tonight. It's the Toyota Center. Here in downtown Houston, Texas. All right, you can join us. It's game four of the Western Conference quarterfinals live on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, our terrific analysts. And David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. DA, take it away. Well, Coach Mike Malone had this to say about his understated superstar, Nikola Jokic. Malone said he's truly beloved by all his teammates. No ego, a little bit goofy, doesn't take himself too seriously, and with his success, he's still the same kid. That's why everybody cares about him and respects him. Kevin? The Nuggets, lucky to have him. Thanks, David. Now let's take a look at the Nuggets opening lineup. Millsap and Jokic, the big men. The backcourt is Murray and Harris, and it's Porter and at the small forward position. And for the Rockets, Arden and Gordon are out on the wings. Robert Covington out there with P.J. Tucker, and it's Westbrook in at the point. So the Nuggets win the tip. Harris against Harden. Harris outside. Shot clock at six. Eleven feet away. James Harden with the rebound. And it's Harden with the ball for Houston. They come off a real tough loss on Wednesday. I'll tell you, they played hard. They drew fouls. But they could not convert at the line. Yeah, drawing fouls is tough. But the important part about that is when you get to the free throw line, you've got to turn those into points. And it might have cost them in that last ball game missing all those chickens. Now Murray, after Westbrook's missed three. Murray dishes to Porter. And the ceiling so high for Porter. A versatile, effective forward who does so many things well. The Nuggets shooting their first free throws of the game.
down the first one. He hits one and misses one, each at the line. Now the Rockets with it. In the corner, Harden. Offline with his three. Pass to Porter. Here's Jokic. Shoots over Tucker. Jokic, no good. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. Here's Harris. He can't get that one to fall. The Rockets go the other way with it. Harden outside. A three-pointer is right on target. It, it doesn't matter how a defense plays him. Harden is going to make sure that the three-point shot is a primary weapon. Now here's Murray. Now here's Jokic. And again, Denver, no good. Kev, I know it's early, but going 0 for 4 to start a game can make a team get a little bit tight. Here's Westbrook. Rebound by the Nuggets. How about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot? Yeah, not easy to do there, and that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. Now here is Harris. Busts the J after the KG pass fake. Well, that's a, a healthy make there after missing their first four shots. One of five, not what they wanted, but they're on the board. Westbrook kicks it to Tucker. Off target with his three. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Here's Harris. Eric Gordon with the rebound. This has not been a good quarter right here. Shot has been off the mark, and now it looks, Kevin, like he's pressing a bit. Gives the team such a great element, having a one guard who can get to the 10. Uh, certainly something every team wants to have. Like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. Here is Porter, following the score by Houston. Here's Millsap, and terrific work on the offensive glass, and he picks up two. This competing right now, Millsap wanting to make the most out of that possession. Outside Gordon for the three. Good. Nice assist from Westbrook. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Nuggets. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Well, they can't find the net right now, and all they need, I think, is just to get one to go, get back on track. Substitution here for Denver. Mason Plumley's checked in for Jokic. Jeremy Grant comes in for Paul Nelson. Martin's checked in for Michael Porter. And Monte Morris subbed in for Jamal Murray. Now here is Harris. Releases. And it's good off the back rim and in. Uh, that's a needle in a haystack shot right there. You're not going to hit that one all that often. Rivers passes to McLemore. That's a nice passing there by Houston. Passes it to House. Houston needs to get a shot on it. From 20 feet out. Can't hit that one. Now the Nuggets take it the other way. outside and it's Grant in the corner and trying for the go ahead basket it doesn't go in McLemore dishes to Carroll Rivers kicks to House 
Aston Acklemore takes the three. Comes out of the gate empty. He's 0 for 1. The Nuggets trail. The 15 footer. Harris's shot is off. Here is House. Guarded by Harris. And there's the pass to Macklemore. Back to Green for three. No good. And it's Denver the other way. With Samark and Morris with the lay in. He knew what he wanted to do all along. The teardrop. Pass to Macklemore. 29 seconds left here in the first quarter. Here is House. He's covered by Grant. Rivers kicks to McLemore. Here's House. Off the left rim and out. Harris looking it over. And they pick up two. Just continuing to develop an overall game that was evident coming into the league. Gary Harris getting better at spotting the open man. Here's Rivers. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Nuggets lead by three. We'll be back shortly live from Houston, Texas. Nikola Jokic, a former second-round pick, turned star in the league, talks about what the game means to him. Basketball, like passion, love. Like, that is the thing I play, like, when I know four, six, seven years old, I don't know. Like, basketball is always in my life. That, like, I think it's passion. I think it's passion. In basketball, Greg, a big deal in Jokic's native land of Serbia. And I love his creativity. There's an artistry and a freedom in how he plays the game. And we welcome you back to Game 4 on 2K Sports. And when you consider how Denver is doing, guys, what are your thoughts? Well, their effort on the defensive end has set the tone for this game. Yeah, defense has been infectious here as everybody stepping up aggressively on that end. Mike Lamar is out there with Austin Rivers. Then there's Green. Then it's Damari Carroll. And it's House in at the small forward. That's the five for Houston right now. Morris finds Harris. Traps in the tray. Harris has got the lead up to six now for the Nuggets. Well, the confidence that Gary Harris is playing with right now, he is ready to shoot once that ball touches his mitts. Here's Rivers. No good on the shot, a bit long that time. Nuggets shooting 43% for the game. Harris outside. Rockets with the rebound. Even if you're not shooting it, you like to see the effort level, and his tonight has been high. And it's Green with the jam. I like that. Staying alert. Rivers keeping his head up to find the open man. Now, here is Morris. Passes to Von Lake. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Jeff Green picks one up. The Nuggets shooting their third and fourth free throw shot to the night. And the first one drops. A five-star recruit coming out of high school. Vonley was the ninth overall pick in that highly anticipated draft class of 2012. Houston, a whole new five on the floor. And then for Denver, Jokic, he's checked in for Plumlee. Michael Porter comes in for Monte Morris. And Murray subbed in for Harris. And good on the second, so he makes them both. A big fellow with the ability and confidence at the free throw line is something that every team wants. You don't have to make those late substitutions. Keep your big guys on the floor. And the basket by Gordon. Even though Eric Gordon went in amongst the bigger guys on the floor, he's able to remain calm and get two. Martin passes to Jokic. Porter against Harden. 
now. Here's Porter. He's covered closely. Pass to Barton. Let's the three fly. Good on the triple. Barton's got five now. Off-season work and shooting the basketball paying off for Barton there. This guy you have to keep your eye on if he gets the ball around the arc. Barton outside. That's good, and so Westbrook comes up with the assist. And that's now six points for James Harden. And I like the back and forth here, showing confidence from Ray. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. Now, here's Gordon, following the miss by Jokic. And the shot is good. The Denver lead has been cut down to two on the bucket from Gordon. A concentration from Eric Gordon, who caps off the drive with the basket. Outside, Porter puts one up from 19, moves back up, rebounded by Tucker. Well, a lot of players in the league are going to make that shot, and for him, it's pretty much automatic. It's a good defensive effort to prevent the layup. Now, here's Westbrook, and again, it's the Rockets from deep. This is where your off-season work comes into play. Westbrook stepping into his catch-and-shoot game. Thousands of reps get you that kind of result. Denver calls timeout. Giving up a run here. Can, can they turn it around? Hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. Zapp's checked in. Denver with the ball. Martin with it. Five points in the game. And another miss by Denver. Rockets on offense. It's been eight unanswered points for him. Here's Westbrook. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Jokic just got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Millsap, and Covington sends it back. Harden scanning the floor. From deep. Westbrook, no good. Nuggets have gone just two of eight shooting here in the second quarter. Martin dishes to Millsap. A fader. Jokic, and they call the foul, so he's got the and-one chance here to make it a three-point play. What, what's Jokic, like 6'10 out there? Not many defenders are going to be able to match up with that kind of size. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Free throw, good, Jokic. Well, it didn't take too long for Jokic to blossom into one of the better young players in the league. Much quicker than most folks, I think, give him credit for. Now here's Gordon. He has seven. A nice shot by Tucker. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Murray against Harden. Porter in the corner. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Uh, like that from Murray right there. When he's passing it like this, it can make him so much better and so much more open. Harden outside. Houston moving it around. Porter against Gordon. Or three, Westbrook. The shot will not fall. 
And Denver the other way now. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. Fires for three. That's Jokic with the rebound. Jokic just got rebound number seven for him tonight. And it's Murray penetrating. Now the pass to Jokic. Misses for the fifth time this game. Mark him at one for six. And it's Westbrook with the ball. He brings it up for Houston. They trail by one. And it's Westbrook again missing. Denver's gone two or three when they step beyond the arc in the second quarter. One second separate in the shot clock and game clock. Murray the pass to Jokic. Basket made just his second this contest. He's two for seven now. I just don't think that Jokic is ever in a hurry out there, which helps in that set. And a deep three from Westbrook. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Nuggets ahead, up by three. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. SRO, standing room only. Ooh, nice. I'm your host, Ernie Johnson. Got Shaq here, got Kenny and Jet. For the Nuggets, they've got their biggest half of the season coming up. They cannot afford to fall into a 3-1 hole in this series. If there was ever a time to pull out all the stops, now would be it. Kenny, your thoughts on the Nuggets' first half. Well, their reserves showed up tonight, not just on hustle plays, but in points. And that's what you got to do coming off the bench to maximize your minutes. And Shaq, let's get your input on the Rockets. Oh, well, Ernie, this is definitely a big wake-up call for them. Their field goal percentage is sitting in the low 30s. They came out unfocused, unmotivated, unprepared. If they can't turn the time to play with greater efficiency, it's going to be a long second. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter, set to begin in just a few. NBA playoffs, round one. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. Ice game, great performance by Harris. You know, some guys just love the big stage, and so far tonight, he's been the difference. Yeah, when the pressure's on, sometimes unlikely guys tend to step up. Typically a support player. He's been all of that and more in this game. And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. Rockets trail by three. So on the floor for Denver. The backcourt is Murray and Harris. Bill Zapp and Jokic, the big men. And it's Porter at the three. Now Porter after Westbrook's missed three. Porter kicks to Harris. Bill Zapp against Gordon. Fades back. No good off the back of the rim. And for Houston, they're shooting 32% overall right now. Not one of their better showers. And the foul called on Paul Millsap. That is his first foul of the game. And so here is Houston. It's a three-point game. Harden the pass to Tucker. Clock at four. Jokic with the steal. Murray outside. Pass to Harris. Back to Murray. His first attempt of the game finds the target. Murray's got the opening bucket to start the second half for Denver. Westbrook scanning the floor, and that one drops. A guy who keeps getting better year after year, making the All-NBA rookie team first team in 2009. He hasn't looked back. Denver calls timeout. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate. 
with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. substitution here. Green is checked in for P.J. Tucker. Tamari Carroll comes in for Robert Covington. McLemore is checked in for James Harden. And it's Rivers in for Russell Westbrook. And then for Denver, Mason Plumlee's checked in for Jokic. Grant comes in for Paul Millsap. And Monte Morris subbed in for Jamal Murray. And Gary Harris really putting his vertical leap on full display with that throwdown. And here's Rivers. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. McLemore dishes to Green. Rivers kicks to Carroll. Lock at six. Passes it to McLemore. Outside Gordon. Three-pointer. Rebound by the Nuggets. Inside. It's tipped. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Nuggets will retain possession. You love the pressure he's putting on them. Almost had that steal. Yeah, pestering right now, and that's going to pay some dividends. At some point, there's going to be a turnover. Daniel Ohouse has checked in for Houston. Now, here's Porter. Guarded closely. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And Houston gets called for the foul. Catches the defender a little bit out of position. Plumley makes a strong move to take advantage. Denver shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. Good from Plumley. He's off on the second. Plumley with a steal. Morris passes to Porter, and the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jeff Green, and that'll be his third foul so far. Rivers against Morris. Harris outside. Back to Morris. Six on the shot clock. Free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Well, if you're going to commit a shooting foul against Plumley, do it when he has a high percentage look inside. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. Free throw, no good. Noah Vonley, he's checked in for Denver. And he's good on the second. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Now Rivers. 
nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And the wide open shot from Green. And it's off from three point range. And they're going to try to search out for somebody that's got a hot hand right now. One of four to start the half. And so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he laid it straight up and in. On the wing, Morris. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Here is House. Pass to McLemore. Houston moving it around. And that one's good. House. Important points there. Got him on a nice play. Getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. Morris against Rivers. Morris into the lane. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Morris has got the lead back up to seven now for the Nuggets. The pass to McLemore. Here is House. Pass to Carroll. Now here's Rivers. His three pointers off the mark. We've got 155 left in the third quarter of the game. Rivers against Morris. Passes it to Vonley. Harris outside. Checks up a three. Green with the rebound. Rockets trail by seven. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Here's Rivers, and then Rivers with the dunk. Well, the problem defensively after Rivers gets a step is nobody's sliding over in time to slow him down. Denver calls timeout. Well, whether things are good, bad, or indifferent, coaches will have adjustments to make throughout the course of the game. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. you got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. Tucker, he's checked in for Green. Robert Covington comes in for Damari Carroll. James Arden, he's checked in for Ben McLemore. And Russell Westbrook is subbed in for Rivers. Denver also making some changes. Paul Millsap's checked in for Plumlee. Will Barton comes in for Grant. And it's Jamal Murray in for Gary Harris. So it's the Rockets now, following the miss by Paul Millsap. How's the pass to Tucker? Let's it go from 11. And Houston again with the bucket. The Nuggets leading by three. Morris kicks to Millsap. Pass to Murray. A three ball. Barry's the long-range jumper. Murray's got five. Well, if Murray can do that and become a threat from the three-point line, look out. There's 38 seconds left in the third. Yes, that goes in. Nine points in the game so far. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight, Kevin. Not an easy fellow to hold in check. Morris outside. Just fine to shoot. He feeds it to Vonley. Deep two from Murray. Rebounded by Tucker. Right side, Westbrook. A shot by Harden. Wide open. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got three assists tonight. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Nuggets lead by one. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling right here on 2K Sports. Now at our assist of the game, brought to you by State Farm. 
And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, a great job with the eyes. And what separates great playmakers, as we know, Greg, is peripheral vision. better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. Okay, now let's reset our lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for this fourth quarter. And so in the game for the Rockets. Westbrook and Harden, the dynamite pair. They're the backcourt. Robert Covington out there with Gordon, and it's Tucker in at the five spot. Now, here is Harden, following the miss by Paul Millsap, and the basket by Gordon. They are just killing them on the interior. Harden against Murray. Floats one. Millsap and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Really the hard work and the lunch pail mentality of a guy like Paul Millsap who made himself into an all-star in the Eastern Conference. He's got tremendous skill and versatility. Super two. Free throw good for Millsap. And so Paul Millsap nails both of them. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. Cloak loose. In the corner, it's Gordon. A floater. Westbrook, no good. And so it's Jokic with the ball. He brings it up for Denver. They lead by one. He gets that one. And it's seven points for Jamal Murray meeting the defense with a tenacious will to score. Murray giving you that effort. And for Houston, they're shooting 41% for the game. Westbrook passes to Gordon. Now Covington. Martin outside. The pass to Westbrook. He tries for three. Rebound by the Nuggets. Jokic has got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done, and finished off by Porter. And he's got a great balance of, of knowing when to slash inside. Porter needs to keep being this aggressive on the drive. Now a timeout called by Houston. And he can tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs back under them. in for Barton. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Kevin, I was able to listen in on what Mike D'Antoni was talking about with his team. He said, we're getting some looks on the three, but we're not connected. But don't get frustrated. We told them it's a game of ebbs and flows. Keep shooting with confidence. Guys, here's Murray following the basket by Russell Westbrook. Murray with it. Porter in the corner. Rebounded by Tucker. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Uh, and that was the right call. When, when you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the most. Yeah, whether it's teammates or the coaching staff, hopefully a combination of both, but gets close, he's getting the ball. Here's Jokic. James Harden picking up that last basket. Pass to Murray. trying to free himself up, Harden, with the defensive effort. Well, the D's so tight on him, it makes him alter his shot. And an easy chance turns into a tough one because the defense is swarming. Now, here's Westbrook. Pass to Harden to tie it up. Jokic grabs the miss. Jokic has got 11 rebounds in the game. To the wing right side. Shoots from the corner. 
basket is good. The assist from Harris. Harris has got three assists in the game. Or three, Westbrook, good on the three-point shot. Westbrook's got five points now in the quarter. Trying more and more to utilize the three-pointer. It's a good idea. That's his second three of the game, one in each half. Time call here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. And he's provided them with a major mismatch on that low block tonight. That they've been able to lean on his scoring in the paint. And if nothing else has worked, he, he's given them a reliable option on every possession. Daniel House has checked in for Gordon. Now, here's Jokic. Can't connect from 14 feet out. Outside Westbrook. And the Rockets getting another bucket right there. And that's what a guy like Westbrook will do for you, willing his team forward in these big moments. And here is Murray. Pass to Jokic. Score the basket, his fifth of the game. He's missed six shots against those five makes. He's simply staying aggressive right now, and Jokic is ready to shoot at the biggest moments. Now a timeout called by Houston. They're trailing by two. 152 left in the fourth. <laughs> 152 left in the fourth quarter. Harden inside the three-point line. That one wide left. Denver in the lead. the way, Harris, guarded by Hart. Murray outside. Some nice ball movement by the Nuggets. Harris, good! Well, that's some leadership being built right there as Gary Harris knocks it down. Not afraid. Gotta respect that one. Outside Westbrook. He doesn't hit that one. Murray with the defensive effort. Side Porter out to the wing and the pass to Jokic dishes it to Millsap and contact on the shot so he'll be shooting free throws here they get Russell Westbrook good work from Millsap there getting the defense up in the air and then gets the foul the first that increases their lead to six. Second one is good. We both at the line and it's a seven point game. And the lead getting safer and safer as these free throws from the strike go in. From deep Harden. He can't get that one. And Denver the other way now. Murray against Westbrook. Down low. Here's Jokic. And plenty of contact on the shot. So two free throws coming up. And there's the foul against Houston. At six foot ten, 250 pounds. That's a big man out there, and he uses his size to draw the contact there. Nice job by Jokic. the first one and that stretches their lead to eight and 
and so both free throws are good and it's a nine point ball game here. yeah that'll ice it right there not everybody can keep their composure at the line in such a big situation Here's Westbrook, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to be on Jamal Murray. Yeah, there's sometimes games where Westbrook takes personal challenges at the big guys. Russell Westbrook taking two shots. So the first one drops, and that brings them within eight. Just how fierce a competitor Russell Westbrook is. He just lays it all out there on the line every single night. Denver making a switch here. Bates Diop's checked in. Tory Craig comes in for Michael Porter. Daniels, he's checked in for Gary Harris. And Morris subbed in for Murray. And so Westbrook makes them both. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Pass to Craig. Daniels with it. Now Jokic on the wing, Daniels. Five to shoot. Puts it five from 18. And that one goes long. Out to the right wing. Or three, Westbrook. It's House outside. So we see Denver get the win here. This was a crucial game for him, tying up the series at two apiece, Greg. A, a huge accomplishment. And this series, I think, hinged on who picked up game four, Kevin. I mean, now it's a three-game series, and anything can happen. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Mason, your game has expanded some. What has that process been like? You know, you just learn something new every game. You have to study your opponent and see what's going to be open. But um, some of the concepts have to be rebounding defense, bringing energy in, and that's always going to get you a little bit. Well, you had the whole package tonight, Mason. Thanks. Kevin, back to you. All right, David, thank you. And that about wraps it up, folks. We hope you've enjoyed our broadcast of the NBA Western Conference quarterfinals. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Alden, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. See you next time. Big win there for the Nuggets. And they... tie up the series to a piece here in game four game five will be friday night that'll be in three days we're taking tomorrow off and then we'll be back thursday with the other next four games and then friday night we'll be back 7 p.m eastern 4 p.m pacific and this game will be roughly at the same time around 9 p.m eastern 6 pacific for game five in denver series tied it up at two it's going to go, it might go the distance. So we'll see what happens. Remember to go to our website, jablamsports.com, to check all the series information, the stats for each team, each game, uh, the previous game. You can see all the videos as well as league leaders on our stats page. You go to our website, jablamsports.com, click on simulation, and then click on NBA. We're also doing the NHL playoffs, so you can check that out too. All right, bear with